Hey there guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of Infinity. Today we've got a fancy little leprechaun hat. I like this one, it's pretty cool. Yeah, and so we've got some plans for today. First plan is go to bed. Because I probably should have done this before it started. But, you know, like... Shh, shh. Oh well. So, I did a little bit of work on this system over here. And now we have four engines running. It is, we have, we're gaining power, which is awesome. And we are still burning this stuff. It looks like we're almost out of wood though. And we have an excess in here, or we should. See these ones, oh, it is working now. Okay, never mind. Scratch that. I was gonna say that these ones weren't accepting, but I, apparently I, Oh, I didn't, I didn't link it back up. That's why. That's why. So, what we're going to have to do is make another set of these, and I believe it's tin with two lead. Um, is it lead with two tin? I'm going to figure it out. I don't need any eye. And I was looking at backpacks because I need something to hold my tools. Um, and we have one more in here. So what we're going to have to do is we have our tree axe on us for now. Um, and we can chop this. Yeah, we'll chop this guy down. Then we will replant him. Except when we only get one sapling from it. It's kind of hard to replant. There's another sapling. So we got three saplings. Cool. So we'll just set those like that. I'm trying to maximize the saplings by doing that. And we can put this stuff in here for now. Actually, we're going to take that back out because we are going to break this chest. I don't know what damage this is going to do. Perfect. Didn't do too much. So we are going to place that there. We need our crescent hammer and remove that piece. Um, because right now it's causing a problem because these here are further away than our chest was. Now there's a way to make the pipes pull and stuff like that, but that requires us to have um, a way to pulverize dust and we don't quite have that yet so I'm just going to do it this way, this is the easy way to do it. So if we look, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven away and so we need to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if we put the chest back here, which is kind of silly but oh well, and we can throw this stuff back in here. And we will place one more item duct there with our servo. And we are going to put this to enabled low and we are going to only pull out. We'll put spruce wood in there. Um, we also need one of these to put in our filter. Oh, that might cause a problem with not being able to fit that stuff into the smelter at the same time. Yeah, I can't put this stuff in here. Oh well, it'll f it'll sort itself out. Um, and then we need to go down here and attach this to there. All right, and then we need to take our dirt and cover up this and this and we'll grab another piece of dirt from over here and a couple I need some way to make dirt I need a dirt factory and there we go we can fill in this here don't need that flower we'll get rid of all this stuff that we have in our inventory and that one lead ingot so this should be working now um, oh crap we blacklisted it that's why Whitelist, we don't want, no, no, no. 
We will need those in the future, but not right now. Okay. No, stop. Still pulling all these out. There we go. Alright, so we should be good now, I believe. Let's see. Yeah, we got that filling up, and these should be... That's the only problem with this, is um, we almost need to pull this out of here as well. And put filters and stuff, but we'll, we'll refine that system in a bit. I'm going to go set this stuff inside. I'll show you another change we made. Just a little something over at the farm. Let's just get our inventory cleaned up. Um, okay, should be good to go. There was another little change I made over here. And the stuff's already grown. Man, does it ever grow fast. Um, I just put these barrels in the ground. So we can harvest and then put them in there which is cool we will get some automatic harvest of this stuff quite soon um, and these won't be these anymore we'll turn them into what is called a deep storage unit it's just a little expensive as you can see we need to do some work before we can get there um, and those can hold a ridiculous amount of stuff. So what we're gonna do is we need to work on a tree farm. I have no idea what that sound is. That is scary. Okay, I'm gonna keep moving. Um, we need to work on a tree farm though, and for that we need rubber. And I believe there is some rubber trees over here that we can grab. Oh man, there's my new hats. Look at those two squid hats totally grabbing those. Is that a big thing of cheese? Is that what that is? Yep. That's what that is. And this one is a cool cool winter hat. Apparently you can get raw calamari. Can we eat this? Yep. Cool. Okay, so these aren't rubber trees. These are regular oak. There's some rubber. So this is what rubber trees look like. Now, we chop this down, hopefully we can get some saplings out of it. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Got one sapling there. Wouldn't, be, wouldn't mind to grab a couple more. That's another rubber tree. Their leaves are just a little more green. That's how you can tell. And this rubber, we might be able to turn this into charcoal as well. Yeah, perfect because it's not it actually only gives you three um, three planks I believe if it's still the same as it used to be we still only have one sapling yeah it gives you three jungle wood planks come on I want more saplings give me more saplings there's another sapling cool and I might have just dropped some I don't have my magnet on right now um, how far away is... I'll just show you this village since we're over here. And we won't need to get saplings anyways because then just there's so much of it over here that I can just clear clear cut this forest and never come back and see it. It's kind of a dark way of doing things, but oh well. I'm going to cut down that great wood too while we're here because we will need great wood stuff. Um, so this tree here, that's the rubber from the mine factory reloaded. This is actually the other rubber tree. This is the one from Industrial Craft. And what you do with this one is you make a thing called a tree tap, which we might look at. Um, depends. And you look here, there's supposed to be some things on it. There's supposed to be little gold lines on it. Apparently, these ones don't have any. Where are they? Oh, there we go. So you look for these things, and that's um, that's the sap that you need to pull out of there with the tree tap. 
It's pretty cool. Alright, so we are at this massive village. Once I chop this great wood tree down. Just gonna throw on my magnet. Make sure you click that before clicking your magnet or else you will drop it on the ground. I figured that out because I've done that multiple times. I need to remove that leaf block there. And do we get fast decay? Wow. These things take forever to decay. But you get a lot of great wood from it. Which is cool. So maybe we'll just come walking back through here. Um, so this is this village I was telling you about. It goes from over here all the way across. It's on this side. Apparently there's some ore iron there. It's really hard to navigate because there's stuff everywhere. So yeah, like this is a roof of a house. We've got farms over there. And I'm not even at the massive village marker yet. Like, I'm still how many blocks off? 37 blocks. So, I explored it, I believe. I think I got everything. Um, there's a lot of houses that don't have anything in them. But here, this is a pretty good vantage point if we just look. Like, this village just goes on for days. It's pretty awesome. And you look like we got some, there's a railcraft house up there. There's a, a blacksmith there. It's just a lot of vanilla houses though, which if it was a bunch of the other ones, that would have been really cool, but the vanilla ones are kind of lacking. <laughs> Trolled, and I don't know how these guys get in their house, but it must be rather difficult. Eat some bread, whoa, come on game, stop freaking out at me man. Let's see if we got any saplings or anything dropped over here. A bunch more wood. Sweet, we got two saplings, so whatever we missed is... Oh well. So, let's head not underground. I do not want to go underground, but there's zombies and skeletons and creepers. Oh my! I'm just gonna run this way. Dodge everybody. Probably take off that magnet now. So we're not just picking up random junk. That's a blaze? What? What kind of creature are you? Ow. What is this? A basalis. I just want to kill this thing and see what it drops. These guys are trolling me. That's right, creeper. Can't touch this. There we go. What are these? What do we get? A basal's rod. One second. All right. Sorry about that. Um, this stuff looks interesting because it drops pulverized obsidian, which is a handy thing to have. And then you can turn this into stuff that drops pulverized obsidian, and you can make this. Petrothium dust, which you can turn into petrothium. It looks like it could be rather interesting. Oh no, leave me alone, skeleton. I hate the new knockback on them because they just. You can't even fight them. You have to take them out with a bow because they just keep punching you back. Yeah, that's nice, creeper. Get away from me. Alright, so, if we head back, what we're going to have to do is smelt up, maybe we'll cancel our smelting operation over there, and quickly get some of this, uh, this rubber smelted so we can start working on the next piece, which is going to be a harvester. I, I'm going to go harvester first, I think. I don't know, we'll probably, we'll build both harvester and planter, um, but we just need to make sure we have enough. Do we have a chest in our Thalmcraft house? I 
Ooh, we, do. we do not. Okay, so let's grab three of these. Let's make a chest quick. Right there, and we will put this stuff in there with our great wood saplings. Cool. That's right, zombie burn. Fool. Um, we will put that in there. We can put these drops. Actually, we'll put this pulverized obsidian over here. We will put our rubber tree sapling, that one there. We will take these with us. Throw that there. And we can actually, what we can do is we can split this and we'll just start cleaning that up while I go plant these trees. We need to find a good spot for them. So you get maybe on this side of the stuff. Go here a little bit. So if we just plant these right here, that should be fine. Eh? One, two, three, four, five. Is this stuff all working still? We get more graphite. And I don't know what's happening. Like it's just glitching out, I guess. So this turns into charcoal, and then it gets pulled and put somewhere. I don't want to pull charcoal out of here. Why does it keep pulling charcoal out of there? We'll see if it does it again. If it does it again, then I'll have to look into it. But um, if we head back over here, because we will need these graphite bars. It's not like we're wasting the coal. Uh, we just it's for a reactor that we're not close to getting at all um, so if we turn these like this no how do we do we have to smelt them again to get plastic yeah we gotta smelt them again to get plastic out of them okay so if we're looking at uh, we'll go let's go planter first because you start with the planter right so the first thing we're gonna need is we are going to need I'm gonna make it this route because that's a lot I have the like you don't need any machines to make this stuff whereas this one you do need some machines to make this logic controller and stuff like a slice and splice that's a weird picture for it okay um, so we'll start with the machine frame so we need four iron four glass and a tin gear which you can make we can make a gear cast. That's cool. Um, how many? How much? If we go back, it's five seventy six. Just one sec. Quick calculator. Five seven six divided by one forty four is four ingots. So that would save us not really any time. Whatever. Um, so we'll make these. You need stone and wood gears. And how many of these do I need? One, and then I need copper gears, which is iron and four copper. So we need eight, two iron, and we need four tin. And we need some planks, we need some cobblestone. Okay, so let's make these perfect. And then we need to make two of these. Oops. Almost perfect. And then we put these here and we put the. Oh, we didn't need to make two of them. But oh well. Having an extra stone gear around is not a bad thing at all. I thought I did have one actually. But there we go. We got our tin gear and then we will make our copper gears. Now we need two of these, one redstone. Um, I need more clay. Hmm, I might have to go looking for clay. So we are going to split this again and put them back in there. Um, we need another redstone though. So we can make pistons. Those are two pistons. We need four iron and glass for that. Two of glass, sweet. Make 
we're gonna make a lot of these things they're definitely well used in this um, I have clay somewhere else I have one clay that's all I got eh? Grout. Hmm. okay um, just one second I'll be back with some clay all right so I got some clay got a whole bunch of it actually and I think I solved the problem out here we'll go quickly look before the Sun goes down um, what was happening is underneath here we have a servo right and it is removing items so if we look here it was removing four at a time so what my theory is and we will see is it was removing the charcoal four at a time and this one only needed one and so it was bouncing back and getting smelted um, now we can solve this by just doing push there and this should be pull I guess so that should work I don't know we'll see um, I'll get dark real quick so we should be okay to build the planter now we just have to build a flower pot and throw this away here and now if we go to planter we need to make plastic sheets which we got from the raw plastic which is just the smelted stuff again last thing we need to make is a redstone reception coil one gold two redstone easy enough boom 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 planter all right so can we get the harvester now as well so we need an invar axe some shears some gold gears just eight gold two iron there we go gold gears how much invar do we have we need more invar so we have four of that and four silver I think it is no it's ferrous sorry it's nickel or ferrous So if we just go look here, we got our ferrous, we got four of that. Quickly go throw this in our smeltery over here. Let's just start melting down. What else do we need? Another redstone reception coil, another plastic sheets, shears, and another... Do we have enough iron for this? We might be out of iron. How's our iron supply looking? We need four for this. We'll have just enough. Okay, so we need a tin gear. Four tin. Um, and that gear that we put over here. Which is cool. There's our tin gear. We need four glass. We can make the machine frame um, oh we need to make shears we need our in bar which hopefully that it probably made eight didn't it six oh, okay put too much in so we will grab that's exactly how many we need so let's just pour these out just quick even though none of it is ever quick these Oh well, it's an awesome tool. Awesome early game tool. I did find another node over there, because that's where I got my stuff from. So that should be six. Right? Uh, one more. I can't count. Oh well. So we'll just do this. And throw some sticks underneath them. What do we need? We need two invar axes. Cool. And the redstone ship reception coil. Reception coil. There we go. 
Do we get our harvester? What are we missing? So we put that there, we got these two, we've got this. This might just be a case of can't shift click. Yes. So if you can't stack the items, it doesn't like shift clicking. I don't know why, it's just been a problem in this for a little while. So there's our harvester and planter. We're going to go put these out here, but that's going to have to wait until next episode because we're out of time here today. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I will catch you in the next one where we set up our automatic farm. Hope you're getting excited, and until the next episode, guys, have a fantastic week, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.